Okay, so this is an example of a quadratic inequality in one variable that I'm going to solve um, through the use of a case analysis. So before I can do that, I'm going to have to factor it. So what I'm going to do is just going to, in this equation, uh, I just don't like the way that it's uh, set up here. I don't really like negative uh, coefficients on my x squared. I just, I'm just not used to factoring those. So what I'm going to do is put everything put everything to the other side so that my coefficient on x squared is positive um, and then I can uh, go ahead and factor this so if I decompose that middle term into those two numbers 15 and minus 1 um, I'll be able to factor it so I can see here that uh, a 3x minus 1 and an x plus 5 are my two factors so the x-intercepts for this quadratic equation are therefore x equal to a third and x equal to minus 5. So if I want to do a case analysis, I'm going to have to draw a number line. So essentially what I have here is two factors, 3x minus 1 times x plus 5. So two factors. So if I knew... Uh, if I knew the sign of each term, I could decide whether the y values, um, after you input the, the x, I can decide whether the y values are positive or negative. And this is what I'm looking for in my uh, inequality. So, for example, if I take a, a test point in this, in this range, like a minus 6, for example, and I go ahead and plug, uh, plug, that, into, plug that into this term, minus 6, and see what happens, and I plug that into minus 6 into that term and see what happens, what I'm going to get is uh, two negative values multiplied by each other. And what's going to happen is that's going to turn out positive. So I know that the y values in this, in this data range, okay, the y values are going to be positive. Testing for the, in between minus 5 and 1 third, I'll just choose 0. Uh, that's easiest. And then you can see that I'll have a minus... Uh, from this term if I plug in 0 and I'll have a uh, positive from this term if I plug in 0 so a negative times a positive and that's going to come out negative so the y values are going to be uh, negative in this in this data range here finally for the last uh, section here uh, x greater than a third I'll just pick a value of 2 for x or 1 for that matter 1 will be fine so the first term, if I plug in a 1, that will be positive, and if I plug in a 1 here, that will also be positive. So here I have positive times positive, and that, of course, will come out positive. So here I have, a, I have, a, I have proved um, on this number line these, these range of x values and uh, their corresponding outputs in y. Positive for x less than minus 5, negative for x between minus 5 and 1 third, and positive for x greater than one-third.